Saquon, from your standpoint, especially the, the last two practices before today, interceptions in both, I mean, how much do you feel like you put together two solid days in a row? Right. Uh, the ultimate goal each and every day is just to come out here and get better each day. And I feel as if if I do that, then I'm, uh, having, I'm doing a good job. It's just listening to the coaches, what they're telling me to do. Uh, still not where I want to be yet, but uh, continuing to improve each day is my goal. Both, think, of the, go ahead. both of those interceptions, what, what did you see on those plays? Was it a product of being at the right place at the right mm -hmm. time or defensively where you were supposed to be schemed and it just happened to, to work out? What, what did you see on those plays? Oh, yeah, defensively scheming, just being where I was asked to be and just using my uh, instincts uh, and my athleticism to make the play. Has there been anything that's, uh, that's kind of stood out to you as, as really different from, from the college game to, mm -hmm. to make the jump here? Oh, yeah, definitely the playbook is uh, you got to really pay attention to the little details within the scheme. Uh, I, I feel as if the scheme that they, they're, they're giving us is great, and if you follow all the little details, it, it, uh, the sky's the limit for the defense. How long does it take to kind of really truly grasp all that stuff? I mean, you, I guess you've been with the organization mm -hmm. for about three months. Right. So. Uh, it takes a process, honestly. Uh, I've been working on it ever since I first got here, uh, just meeting with Coach AG and uh, asking the older guys for advice, and they're helping me out as well. Uh, it's a process uh, each and every day, and I'm just getting better at it. Do you feel like you found kind of your comfort zone a little bit more uh, in yeah. the last few days? It definitely uh, starting to feel more comfortable. Uh, I can tell I'm starting to understand the playbook and the schemes and what I'm asked to do more, so it's allowing me to make more plays on the ball. How much do you look forward to the possibility of getting – you know, probably a little more playing time than some other guys because of the depth you have at, uh, over these next you know, couple of preseason games? Uh, I'm just focused on each and every day just getting better, uh, just doing whatever wherever the coach asks me to do. That's my ultimate goal, just to get better each and every day. And wherever that takes me, it takes me. How, uh, how much are you looking forward to Friday and just the potential of a lot of playing time? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely exciting to be able to uh, put full pads on and play live action football. I'm definitely excited for the opportunity to go out there and compete. First time in the Dome, right? You've never, never played inside or have you? No, sir. What do you expect to, to feel just walking in there? Uh, I expect a lot of uh, chaos from these fans. Uh, I know this, in this city here that they love football and uh, there's a big, great fan base they have here. So I'm excited to play in front of them. I think we talked about it the last time we interviewed you. you just you coming in and your potential on special teams, but how much do you feel like you're showing now that you can do as a defender as well? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you're a safety. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I feel as if I can uh, compete on defense and special teams as well. Uh, uh, I feel as if uh, it starts with special teams first. Being a rookie, you want to show your worth and be able to let them allow you to trust you on special teams, and then from there, opportunities will come. What's been the biggest adjustment for you just, you know, transition from college and just pro? Uh, just the little details, like I had mentioned earlier, within the scheme. Uh, those little details are so important. And if you follow them, it'll allow you to just make plays out here. And that's, and that's what I've been focusing on. And that's what I've been really nitpicking with the veterans and the coaches and asking them about a lot of things. And it's allowing me to come out here and make plays. Just, just out of curiosity, like some locker rooms, some guys that you know, compete with each other might not like to be right. teammates as much. Like, But it seems like players here are pretty receptive to oh, yeah. wanting to coach up fellow teammates like is that have you felt that on your end too oh yeah for sure there's a lot of confidence in the db room everybody has a certain high level of talent and everybody's out here helping each other out it's one brotherhood in the db room and that's one thing i like about the room as well is everybody's out here competing but they're helping each other out and uh, especially the rookies i think we missed the question earlier but what what would you attribute you know just making a few more defensive plays to over uh, the last couple of days Oh, yeah, just just uh, following what the coach is asking me to do, being in the right spot at the right time. Uh, you do that, and plays will happen. You'll make plays. Sick one up. When that first pick, like, that's your first one in camp, your first in Sam. When you're going up, I mean, and you're, like, getting your hand, what, what is that feeling like, you know, since, you know, we never played uh, pros? How, right. How, how, how does that feel to get that first grab? Uh, it was exciting. Uh, it happened so fast, and it was definitely just uh, it got my confidence even higher. Uh, go out there and just play fast and just cont wanting to continue to make plays. Once you get it, you just want to make more, and that's that's what I'm feeling right now. In the second one, you're in front of 12,000 fans, and you get against number nine. Right. Like, I mean, when you intercept, you're like, oh, my God, just, that was Drew Brees. I just picked off a Drew. Did you say that? Did you even go through your mind? Yeah, internally. I didn't say it out loud, but in my head, I'm like, wow, like this is crazy. Uh, that's Drew Brees. But, uh, yeah, definitely.